Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me, John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video, I'm going to take you through the Forex market wrap and look at some charts of interest and go over our Blueberry Jam trade. So the first Blueberry Jam trade that got triggered this week was a pound US dollar short and we looked for price to uh, break through to the downside. So what we did was we looked at the uh, four hour time frame, we looked at the potential for the market to break lower which we've seen now um, and we're looking for that price to continue down so we can see the four hour is now making those nice lower lows and lower highs so you can look to manage the position you can obviously look to take profits as well off of where you are at the moment or just look to um, manage the position so um, I'm going to leave uh, stops just in above these swing highs you could look to bring them above these swing highs here but I'm going to leave mine open I'm targeting the swing lows just through there um, so that's one way you can manage the pound US dollar position. Uh, the other trade that we got triggered into on the Blueberry Jam last night was Euro US dollar. And the reason we got into this was because price was rejecting this range high once again. And we had this really nice bearish setup. We spoke about it in the YouTube video yesterday where we were looking for the four hour time frame to, to change cyclicity. If we go into that four hour time frame, you can see that's done that really nicely. He had this really nice double top move, break to the downside and price has just fallen ever since. We're getting a bit of a stalling here. We don't know if the price is going to continue down or pull back and give us a, another adding opportunity. So again, uh, I'm going to leave my, my stop loss where it is because I don't want to move my stop loss to break even get taken out on the pull back into the zone and then it fall to the downside okay so i'm going to leave stops where they are at the moment um but price is looking really good for some downside going into next week as price is rejecting this key area once again so i'm expecting price to retest the lows once again uh, through here um, keeping within that range structure so we've had uh, a couple of tests of it already so I'm looking for another one um, before seeing either a breakout or a reversal once again so keep your eye on euro us dollar but that's what I'm looking for um, Aussie as well is rejecting the highs once again um, weekly is still closing back within the candlestick ranges so just being a bit patient with Aussie need to see some kind of um, stock market breakdown in order to to get involved on the uh, risk off side of things of actually bring in uh, a indice let's just bring in the Dow for instance let's just have a little look um, price on the hourly is rejecting those previous swing lows in there and is dropping to the downside um, daily still very much capped in this sort of zone um, really price is just failing to make higher highs but it's not making any lower lows either we're just starting to see price range on the stock market so it's going to be really important to see where this breaks if it takes these lows out then you know these swing lows in here will be highly likely if we break above then the stock markets could be heading back towards the the all-time highs once again which is um strange to say in the uh, circumstances that we are in so uh, be interesting to see what happens here on the dow jones keep an eye on your stock markets because it will give you an indication of that risk sentiment so you can see risk hasn't really um, dissipated because stocks are still range bound or even predominantly a little bit stronger so um, until that changes that's when that risk on effect or risk off effect and uh, the, the selling of risk currencies will be seen so um, keep an eye on your, your stock markets obviously you don't have to look at the Dow Jones you can look at the uh, S&P or the um, DAX for instance um, but they'll pr move pretty similar so keep an eye on that and uh, I'll leave it there hope you enjoyed this week's content if you did please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more and I'll speak to you very soon